Have you ever thrown a party so wild that it made history? No? Well, get ready, because today we're diving into the extraordinary life of a Roman emperor who took Let's Get This Party Started to a whole new level. This isn't just any tale of ancient excess. It's the story of Elagabalus, the teenage emperor whose reign was so scandalously over the top that it makes your craziest weekend look like a tea party with your grandma. Pour yourself a goblet of something fun and let's journey back to the Roman Empire where the parties were wild, the politics were deadly and the emperors were, well, you'll see. Before diving into our party animal emperor's life, let's paint a vivid picture of the stage he stumbled upon, the Roman Empire in the third century AD. A colossal force armed to the teeth, brimming with architectural wonders that defied the imagination and rife with political machinations that would give modern day thrillers a run for their money. It was during this era of grandeur and scheming that a young boy named Varius Avitus Bassianus, who history would remember as Elagabalus, ascended to the throne in 218 AD. Now pause for a moment and picture yourself at 14, suddenly handed the reins of the most dominant empire the world had ever seen. What could go wrong, you ask? Well, as it turns out, quite a bit. Elagabalus's journey to the throne was a whirlwind of intrigue and ambition. Born into the powerful Severan dynasty, his fate took a dramatic turn thanks to his grandmother, Julia Mysa. With a cunning plan, she claimed that Elagabalus was the illegitimate son of the beloved Emperor Caracalla. This bold assertion ignited interest among the Roman legions, who had grown disillusioned with the reign of the current emperor, Macrinus. By 218 AD, the empire was ripe for change. Julia Mesa's strategic maneuvering and promises of wealth and restoration of the Severan bloodline to the throne rallied the legions to Elagabalus's side. With remarkable speed, they marched on Rome, their determination unyielding. In a stunning display of power and influence, Elagabalus, at just 14 years old, ascended to the Roman throne. His rise was not just a testament to his grandmother's ambition, but also to the legion's desire for a return to the dynasty they revered. Now calling Elagabalus eccentric is like calling the Colosseum a quaint arena. This kid took eccentricity and ran a marathon with it. First order of business, installing the god El Gabal, hence his name, Elagabalus, as the chief deity of Rome. Picture this, the most powerful city in the world, with a religious makeover by a teenager obsessed with a Syrian sun god. Temples were redesigned, priests got fashion makeovers and rituals. Well, let's just say they were anything but boring. Elagabalus's parties were legendary, even by Roman standards. Picture the craziest party you can think of, and then throw in wild animals like lions and leopards just roaming around the guests. These parties were full of surprises. One minute you're chatting and enjoying the scene, the next you're either dodging a lion or getting buried under so many rose petals you can hardly breathe. The food was out of this world too. Imagine sitting down to a meal and being served flamingo tongues or camel heels. And for entertainment, there were chariot races right there in the palace and even boat battles on fake lakes. There was never a dull moment, but what made these parties talk of the town were the orgies. Elagabalus threw all the rules out the window and invited his guests to enjoy themselves with no limits. It was all about living in the moment and enjoying every bit of pleasure possible. These wild parties were a shock to many in Rome, stirring up quite a bit of gossip and scandal. In Elagabalus's world, the aim was to have fun, push boundaries, and live life to the fullest, making his reign one unforgettable non-stop party. Elagabalus's reign was not just marked by his flamboyant parties and personal freedoms, it was also riddled with scandals that rocked the very foundations of Roman society. Among his most provocative acts was his marriage to a Vestal Virgin, Aquilia Severa. This union was not only unprecedented but outright forbidden, as Vestal Virgins were sworn to maintain chastity for 30 years, serving as priestesses of Vesta, the goddess of the hearth. By marrying Aquilia Severa, 
Elagabalus directly challenged one of Rome's most sacred traditions, claiming that their children would be of divine descent and thus benefit the empire. In addition to this shocking marriage, Elagabalus's personal life was a constant source of intrigue. He married and divorced five times, openly took lovers of both genders, and was even rumored to have sought what might be considered gender reassignment surgery today, a notion that was as revolutionary as it was scandalous for the time. His most enduring and noted relationship was with Hierocles, a chariot driver whom he is said to have called his husband. Elagabalus's willingness to flout societal conventions didn't just make him a subject of gossip, it made him a living, breathing challenge to the status quo. In a society that valued tradition and conformity, the emperor's actions were nothing short of revolutionary. His marriage to a Vestal Virgin, along with his other personal choices, cemented his reputation as one of Rome's most controversial figures, ensuring that his reign would be remembered as much for its scandals as for its splendor. Elagabalus's relentless partying and blatant disregard for Roman traditions eventually led to his undoing. The Roman elite, along with the Praetorian Guard, a crucial military force and the emperor's protectors, grew weary of the chaos that marked his reign. In 222 AD, just four years after he had taken the throne, the situation reached a tipping point. Elagabalus and his mother, Julia Soemias, were assassinated in a coup orchestrated by the very guards meant to protect them. The empire then turned to Elagabalus's cousin, Alexander Severus, as its new leader. Ascending to the throne at just 13 years old, Alexander represented a complete reversal from Elagabalus's flamboyance and controversy. His reign focused on stabilizing the empire, restoring traditional values, and mending the fractures caused by his predecessor's excesses. Alexander Severus aimed to bring back a sense of normalcy and dignity to the Roman Empire, marking a return to the principles that had been so starkly abandoned during Elagabalus's tumultuous tenure. Let's leave the details of Alexander's story for another video. Choose your next story from our list to continue your journey through the hidden corridors of the past. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more adventures into history. Leave us a comment below. We're always excited to explore new stories with you.